Welcome back, frame by frame breakdown. So we have cleans today. We're gonna to be working with uh, Mark here, and he's working on a power clean. And um, I have me here. I'm doing a squat clean plus a hang power clean, I believe. Um, but it'll it'll work, and it's also from different angles, but it'll it'll work. So first thing we're gonna talk about is addressing the bar in our setup. So generally speaking, you can kind of see how. We both set up this relatively, uh, we have a very similar setup. So I'm looking down, my back is flat, or you know, back is slightly rounded, um, but I'm looking down. Um, you can see Mark is looking down. He's a bit more rounded. Mark is also a taller guy. So, um, you know, it's gonna be a lot more, he's gonna have to work harder to be in a really good position when he's doing barbell work. He's gonna have to start playing around with wider stance and a wider grip and figuring out exactly where to be versus me you know I'm basically a dwarf so it's really easy for me to get into that position so you're gonna notice when I load up I come down and I get into that position I have a nice flat back my head is straight my arms my shoulders are just over to the bar um, and I have tension you can see um, I, I get some tension that bar it slightly bends I get that jiggle out of the bar and then when I lift when I just start pulling off the ground everything moves at the same time right um, that's what we want to see so when Mark comes down here you know we started in that similar position and then he's gonna pull down so we kind of have that similar pull but what I don't like is I'm not seeing a lot of tension in the shoulders and in the lats and I'm not seeing much jiggle in that bar so when we actually start lifting you're gonna you see that a little bit so he kind of first he kind of dips wait let's get back so he's in that position there's a little bit of a dip a little wiggle and then he pulls up so that little bit where that right there that that's not good we want to be able to pull, everything should be moving at the same time. So when I come back over here, load, tight, go. And I start pulling, like immediately, where he kind of hangs out there and he's getting loose. He's losing that tension that he built from when he starts up high and coming down. He's just losing it all and he just looks very loose there. We need to get that tension. We need to get tension in the shoulders, in the lats, in the posterior chain we need to get tension in that bar so that everything is moving at the same time and not the body moving and the bar not moving that's how we start getting those hips shooting up um, and you know that's how we can uh, lead to some back tightness back injury so the second thing is I don't love the starting position so it's relatively rounded it's you know, it's not a terrible, and what I do like is that it doesn't change much when he starts pulling. It almost, he almost gets into a better position there, um, and I like that position a little bit better. So we need that back to be a little bit flatter. We'd like to see that lumbar curve in that lower back. It's kind of hard to, you can't really see it in my position, but I definitely have a flat back there from this angle at least. So now we're going to start with that first pull so first pull is pulling it from the ground to about the knee you notice he's kind of far over top of the bar and his back is rounded again so when I come up I'm not quite as far over the bar we want our shoulders over top of the bar but this is that's, that's probably a little much a little too far over the bar and you're gonna see what happens um, well one of the reasons one of the things that's gonna happen is he's gonna come to his toes so now we're gonna come back. He's keeping the bar close, that's good. But he's just a little too far over. And look, that back is just staying around it the entire time. So now, if we start watching the feet, we see the heels come up. The heel just came up right there. So watch that again. Boop, that heel comes up. Those heels shouldn't be coming up off the ground until we're in extension. The shoulders should be behind the bar when the heels come off the ground. So we got a little bit of arm bend there as well. 
So you're going to see when I come through, just slightly over the bar, keeping that bar close. My feet are still in the ground. Zoom in a little more. My feet are still on the ground. Now I do have a fault here. My toes are coming up a little bit. <clears throat> I need my toes down more actually. I have the opposite. Maybe not the opposite, but I could work on that. So my heels are down, heels are down, heels are down, heels are down, heels are down. Now my, I'm behind the bar, my shoulders are back behind the bar. And now my heels start coming up off the ground. Now we're hitting that full extension. We hit that arch. Let's hit that arch position. Arch. That's what we're looking for. Full extension. So here, he gets pretty good. He's kind of vertical. But we want to be slightly arch. We want to get here. A little bit more arch. You can see that, ex that arch position. Kind of like in a kip. So we want to get back a little bit more. So then... I wish, wish we had a 45 degree angle to kind of see what's happening. It looks like, so you can draw a straight line, this barbell. So what's gonna happen, so this is that barbell and the path should look something like, um, something like that. It should come up a little bit, not too bad. And then it comes back down, so kind of have that bar path but I think what's happening is that bar path is coming back a little bit too far I think it's a little over exaggerated and you're gonna notice that because it's coming out in order to catch it he's jumping back see how he's so his feet are here and he's jumping back now his feet are here so he's jumping back like six inches which is a lot so you're gonna notice when we hit that full extension that bar is just going straight up and then I'm pulling underneath of it. My feet did not move forward or back. They just moved out. And then I met the bar. Second thing, or the next thing rather. So we want to keep those feet, um, the finish point with it. We want to keep those feet in the ground. Full contact with the ground. Balls of the foot, the, the heels want to stay in contact in contact with the ground as long as possible and that is how we create force that's how we create momentum on that bar if we're coming to the toes we're going to start coming forward that bar is going to come forward so now with that catch we're turning over you're going to see that's it's not a very smooth catch it's kind of like muscling it his elbows are really low um, and he just noticed that all of his weight, the center of mass, like his feet are way back here, and all that weight, ooh, sorry, all that weight is forward. That's not ideal. What we want is a balanced position. We want those heels down. We want those heels down. We want back, back here. So we want to be in this position. Well, you can see this is the position that we want. Catch. Right? I'm in a squatting position, my elbows are nice and high, my back, my hips are behind me, I'm countering the weight of that barbell right now. Um, that barbell is just pulling him forward right now. He stands up with it, and then because it's pulling him forward, he had to step up and get it. Right. So, and then just, I, like I said, I squat in this one. So, let's just kind of do a quick quick uh, rundown, quick review. So we need a better load, we need a better setup, right? We need that back, we need that back flat. We need tension in the hamstrings, in the lats, in the shoulders. We need tension in the bar. Then when we pull, we wanna keep that bar a little close and we wanna get our shoulders um, a little farther back. Right, we want to be just a little farther back on that pole. Then we want to keep in contact with the ground as long as possible. We want to keep those feet in contact with the ground. Feet in contact with the ground. And then we need to work on that front rack. And that takes time. Um, working on that front rack, doing some PNF stretching, working the shoulders, working the delts, working the wrists, or sorry, 
the shoulders, the lats, the wrists. Um, those are the big areas that we want to focus on when we're thinking about the front rack and improving that position. All right, hope, hopefully this was helps. Talked a little longer than I wanted to, but uh, I think we had a lot of good takeaways from that. Thank you for sharing, Mark. If you guys want to get one, reach out to me. Cheers.